really interrupted. This knife is a knife that I've been trying to get for years and I have went through in un believable amount of just overall issues, hurdles, some may say. I even bought this knife previously last year, but the, due to some things on the seller's end, he wasn't able to ship it, and so he just refunded me my money. So I had even had this knife in my grasp, so to speak, just to lose out on it. And then uh, just this year, just the, the time before I bought this knife, I was 10 minutes too late, and the seller of it had already sold it. So anyways, the knife in question, without any further ado, is the Protec Strider SNG. And this is a knife I've talked about and alluded to in many videos because I had wanted one so badly, but these guys, they're not even terribly expensive. Like I got this one for $160. So by and large, when you consider, you know, like a full on Strider's about 600 bucks, this guy isn't even terribly expensive. And that's kind of part of the problem with them because they are so affordable. Many people snap these guys up I mean they do not last long at all and so anyways I had been wanting one like I said for years and um, I finally was able to find one get one and uh, it all worked it all worked out and I finally have it in hand now I will say I'm um, in hand I, I think about the only thing I don't like or maybe it was a little bit unexpecting is that the spring personally doesn't feel that powerful and I will say it's kind of probably funny for some people who are maybe new to autos but I was expecting to be a little bit more snappy however this is perfectly fine for me and I just am happy and stoked and like pumped that I finally have an auto SNG especially because I was beginning to regret when I actually um, bought my SNG the guy who sold me this also had an auto SNG for sale and I felt like he just wanted a little bit too much money for it he wanted like high 200s and don't get me wrong the MSRP for these is 320 especially in this all blacked out configuration like this. This is a $320 MSRP knife. Um, but I was already spending like a little over $600 for this guy. And so I was like, I really do not feel like spending $900 at the time to add both of them. But I was almost, almost regretting that because there was a chance and an opportunity to add one of these at the same time. But realistically, ever since I had got my Strider SNG, I had always wanted an auto SNG. And even before I got the, uh, Strider I wanted an auto because I just thought that in my opinion I really like the SNG some people may not like the profile may not like the uh, you know shape or the handle or the ergos but for me I always really liked the SNG and moreover I liked what it was for the community like the SNG and Strider knives as a whole um, are like very they they have had a large impact on the community, I guess you could say. So I liked that aspect of it. And I just really liked the idea of having something that's an automatic, you know, button lock that you can press, fires out nice and hard, and it's still an SNG, right? So I, that's why I had wanted one for a while. It just always stuck with me. I loved the design. And I was like, how cool would it be to have this awesomeness, but in an automatic form so anyways i wasn't super picky when it came down to which auto smg i wanted i just knew that i wanted an auto smg at some point so yeah the one i ended up getting was full blacked out and personally um, as far as it goes i was gonna buy any auto smg but i am pretty happy with the way this one turned out i think about the only two variants i would have wanted more than this one would have been the operator version which is essentially this exact model but with the button being blacked out and with a tritium insert in it so it glows in the dark so it's basically this but just with a little tritium insert in the button release um, and or the one that i really would want and probably one that i would buy in all honesty is they make a tiger stripe version of this auto smg and i would buy that just so that i could match my tiger striped um, strider smg so if i do find a tiger striped auto those things are even more rare than just the normal uh, like blacked out SNGs, auto SNGs. Um, 
I would probably snap that one up as well. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with it overall. It is really cool. It is absolutely rock solid. I'm pretty not so much impressed because I know Protec makes a really good product, but overall I'm pretty enthusiastic about it. If you couldn't tell, and like I said, if for no other reason, I'm enthusiastic because the amount of headache and hurdles I had to go through to get one of these was rather unbelievable. And like I said, I think that's partly uh, contributed to the fact that these are reasonably affordable knives. So a lot of people snap them up quickly because who doesn't want, you know, an automatic SMG? I mean, I'm sure there's a few people who don't want it, but you know, overall, it's like it's pretty cool and overall it's also a pretty nice knife to EDC if you can legally EDC autos. Now luckily like I've said many a time in my state or in Alaska I can actually legally EDC autos so this guy will be seeing quite a bit of pocket time and it is already a user which is something I don't mind at all because my full intentions are to use it as well so yeah. But anyways, that is the, that knife. And it's a little bit of the backstory. Like I said, honestly, I've been trying for quite a few years to get my hands on one. And I just thought it was so bittersweet last year when I had actually bought an SNG or I had paid money, I should say, to a guy um, who was going to ship me it. And like I said, that transaction just never ended up working out. He was never able to ship it to me. So uh, I ended up getting my money back and that's how I actually ended up getting the Emersons um, is through that kind of encounter. But I still ha was very motivated to get an auto SNG. So I'm very, very uh, happy to get this guy in hand and it is gonna be a fun one to use. I really like it and definitely expect to see a lot of pictures slash um, content being created with this auto SNG and this SNG, the normal one. And in fact, after this video that you guys are watching, make a video comparing these two, what a real SNG looks like versus the auto SNG. But this video was more just to talk about finally getting it. It's an awesome knife. I really like it. If you guys do get the chance to buy these things, I think this is one of the most slept on auto knives out there because like I said, on secondary, these go for about anywhere from 200 to $150. And for me, if you get this thing, even if it's a user like this guy for like 150 bucks, there is nothing wrong with this for 150 bucks. Like you're getting a heck of a knife, um, in my opinion. So these guys, they, they really go for some sweet prices. And like I said, uh, they're totally worth it. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.